So what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert. If this is your first time tuning in. So today we're going to be doing a quick little temporary deer blind using some T-post and some burlap. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make it for a bow. Uh, we're going to be have, have about typically between a 30 and 50 yard shots between here. Um, of course, if the deer walk closer, we'll have shorter shots. But uh, between 30 and 50 yards is what we, what we are going to be able to shoot. Um, we have some tripods, but the tripods... Even when you stake them down with T-post, because I had a burlap sack around it, it would catch some wind, so sometimes it would start moving the T-post, even pulling them out of the ground. So this is a little bit safer. Um, it's easier to get to. I don't have to be climbing up uh, you know, 12, 13 feet up in the air. I can just come in here and set up. So that's what we're gonna be setting up right now. Uh, real quickly, I'm gonna mention, this video is sponsored by Fiobach. If you wanna check them out, check them out i'll leave a link down below in the description they make a lot of athletic wear for athletes and people who like to train work out lift weights etc these shorts that i'm wearing today uh firebox sent over as long with some other jackets and shirts uh really good really high quality stuff check them out link down below in the description so with that being said let's go ahead and get into it we're going to unload the t-post and then start putting them into the ground now i forgot my burlap i have them at the house left them on the porch uh so yeah i forgot them i'm gonna come back and finish this in the same video but a little bit later so we're just gonna make this with enough room to i guess i should do it like this just shoot the bow it doesn't it doesn't have to be nothing fancy but something like that should work Give me enough room. Somewhere about right in here. A nice little shooting box. So my foot's getting better for those of you guys who are wondering and asking and keep up with the channel. Uh, the foot's getting better. It's not 100% yet, but we're getting there. I bought some of that um, athletic tape or whatever it's called. Definitely helps. space to set up the camera I'm trying to make sure I have enough room to set you guys up in here during the hunting season and then have enough room for me to draw back the bow so I need it to be a little bit bigger than just for one person now we're probably gonna leave an opening in the back so we can crawl in through the back and uh, without trying to spook the deer
Maybe a little bit more that way. Right there, that's good. It's gonna be plenty of food in there. Close enough. A little bit taller, but. Then all we're gonna do is wrap that burlap around and then I'll come back and uh, film that later. All right guys, so we're back. We are going to probably have to buy another burlap. We're gonna double this burlap. Which one do you think is thicker? This one or this one? Maybe? We're basically just going to wrap the burlap around these four posts. Which one's thicker, babe? Like, harder to see through? I would think this one, right? Yeah, this one. Right? So then you put this one on the front. This one, this one. Single? Or no? No, oh, it's a new. Single? No? I can see the la la pole. I can see the grass. What about whenever so it's gonna be like still so like can you still see in there? I see nothing. Huh? I see nothing. No. So what do you think? You think this will work? Mm -hmm. Oh, because it's, it's going to have this behind it, too. Oh, look, you know what? Keep it there, all that. And then I'm going to spread this one out. And then we'll see if you can. Yeah, you can still see inside a little bit. So maybe double this one and single on the back. What do you think? We'll double the front because that's where the deer are going to see us. Yeah.
it should lock me from being seen, I would think. You got enough room there? Mm -hmm. Right now? Let me get this one first here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me get this one first here. Okay, so this way I can get my mirror up correctly. Here we go. Make it about a fit to where. Yeah. Okay. I'll be sitting down anyway. About right in here. Oh yeah. Should be plenty. And all we're gonna do guys is just cut a hole in here as a shooting area and probably leave the flap so I can bring it up and raise it down. Now we're going to go ahead and get this side on. Except you want to cover that side here just... Oh, hold on. You should also leave the back open. Oh no, because it needs to be into the future. Hmm. You want to just split it down first? <gasps> huh? You want to just split it down the middle? You know what I mean? Yeah. All I did, guys, was bend the, the burlap over, um, so that way it creates a stronger corner there. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll leave that side open. Because I, I rather. I don't know, you think the deal is coming from this side now? Maybe it's what? Well, I'm gonna be right here. I think they will be. Maybe it's what I have? I rather leave this side open and this side closed. Because I feel like they would come out of this area. Probably. Well, you know what? Let's start on this side then. We take it off and then we'll do it on this side. That would have to buy another sack, another burlap sack. And then take it down. These are trash, trash, trash. Not good. Damn.
Sorry. Poner abajo un caído. temporary blind guys. I'm gonna take you guys off the tripod and show y'all what it looks like. So we just kind of put that little burlap around. You want to get inside daddy see if I can see your legs or anything in there? And this is what it looks like on this side. And all I'm gonna do is just put a five gallon bucket with the swivel top and that's gonna be my bow setup. That's what I'm gonna do out of this. And it should have enough room for me to set a camera in there as well. So we'll see if we can see my dad's legs. You wanna move your legs around, Eddie? Nope, you can't see nothing. Further out you get, nope, can't see nothing. So that's why I'm gonna leave it right now. You can't see my dad's legs and he has pretty white legs. <laughs> and so you can't see through there, so, <laughs> so that's good. Um, so it's gonna work now. We're just gonna cut a hole in here um, If I have to put some wire to run it around so it doesn't you know cave in a little bit I'll do that, but uh, we're gonna try to just cut it out first see what happens and uh, Maybe even leave a flap or something and maybe some some uh, velcro tape or something to be able to Bring it down and bring it up whenever we're not using it or just whenever we're actually getting ready to take a shot I haven't really thought that far yet but we're going to figure something out for that. Um, but yeah, it's a cheap little setup. These T-posts I already have laying around, so it didn't cost me nothing. Um, this is the only one I already had. I mean, this is the only one I bought. I already had this one. Um, so for like nine bucks. Nine bucks and I have a whole uh, deer blind setup for, for bow season. So yeah, pretty cheap, inexpensive way to get a little setup going. Again, it took me probably 20 minutes earlier to put the T-posts in there. Maybe not even 20 minutes. And maybe another 20 minutes for this. Less than an hour for sure to set this whole thing up. But yeah, again, it was just T-Posts I had laying around. Burlap I already had. And then this is the only one I actually had to buy, which was 9 bucks. So for $9, you can have a whole deer set up. Alrighty, guys. Say bye to the cows. See you guys later.
like always be careful be good take care and god bless hope you guys gain some value i'll probably show you guys the finished product at another time but for now see you guys later be careful be good take care and god bless see you guys later bye 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 bye